Hello, Indianapolis HealthFlex members. Uh, again, my name is Michael. I'm the fitness director here. Um, and today we're going to do a, uh, another uh, cardio strength workout. Um, again, I want to thank uh, anybody who's tuning in. Um, again, this is a great way to kind of wake up, get your body moving, um, and really get that blood pumping before you get to the rest of your day. It helps you accomplish something before you go out, you know. Um, but today we're actually going to be focusing on some basic movements. And we're actually going to be um, incorporating, if you can see behind me, we're incorporating a ladder, okay? Um, so if you guys do not have a ladder, don't worry, you don't need one, okay? All you're going to need is six objects. Um, I would suggest a flat object like a ruler, um, a pencil, um, or a spoon. Um, I wouldn't use like a fork or knife uh, for obvious reasons, um, but you're going to need six. You're going to need six because you're going to set up your six objects about a foot apart, okay? So you're going to give yourself kind of an imaginary box, okay? And this is going to help you kind of visualize that ladder. Now, you don't need these six objects to do this workout at all. Um, if you have good imagination, you can imagine these kind of boxes where you're stepping in and out of, because we're going to be doing this with our cardio today, okay? So the exercise that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a glute bridge, okay? We're going to do, be doing a push-up. We're going to do a plank, so a uh, flat plank. We're going to do a side plank on each side as well, too. And we're going to do split squats, okay? Now, the ladders, we're going to switch up some different variations. Today, we're going to about do about three different variations. So we're going to do a sideways kind of in and out variation. I'll show you how that works. Um, we're going to be doing a in and out facing forward variation. Okay, again, I'll show you that. And we're going to be doing some jump squats in the ladder as well, too. Okay, kind of a little bit more dynamic movement um, this morning. Okay, so this workout is going to take anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to mix our strength exercises and then our cardio, which is going to be the ladder. And we're going to do a strength exercise. We're going to do a cardio exercise, strength, and then cardio. So the ladder. And then we're going to take about a minute break. Okay, we're going to catch our breath. We're going to come right back into it. Okay, so we're going to be repeating the same movement patterns over and over again. Um, this video as well, too, I'll kind of explain in a little bit more depth why we're hitting these uh, different movement patterns, what makes them so important. Um, how it's going to help us in everyday life and our performance. Um, so I'll be going through all of that as we kind of go through this. Okay, so all you're going to need again, six objects, take some time, set that up. Again, you want about 12 inches, about a foot apart. Um, but once you've done that, that is all you need and we can get ready to go. Okay. All right. So we are going to go ahead and I'm going to start my timer. Okay. So keep me on track here. Okay. And again, 15, 20 minutes strength. Cardio, strength, cardio, okay? Let's first start out with the first strength exercise. Kind of get a little bit warmed up here. We're gonna do the glute bridge, okay? Now the glute bridge, you're laying down on your back. Your arms are gonna be flat by your side. Your heels are gonna stay straight on the ground. What you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your hips up and you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna feel that squeeze in your hamstring and your glutes, okay? Now don't overarch your lower back, right? Keeping those, that spine, that spine stacked and straight with your hips. You're going straight up and you're squeezing. Okay. Again, hitting those hamstrings and those glutes. The majority of the population, actually, their quads are way too overactive and their glutes, their hamstrings are barely firing at all. Right? It's super important that we kind of hit these areas because during our everyday life, when we sit, these glutes and hamstrings, with them, they get weak, they get tight, they shrink up. When a muscle gets tight and shrinks up, it actually starts pulling on these structures around your, uh, your hips. Okay, So if you pull your hips out of alignment, then you've got some back issues. right? So it's incredibly important that we work on this posterior chain. It's going to help with stability, strength. It's going to help with power output as well, too. Very underutilized muscle group. But we're going to focus on contracting. Okay, we're going to do five more of these. We're squeezing glutes and hamstrings back down. You don't need to go fast here. You're just getting them activated. We're driving off the heels. We're keeping our core tight. Good. Perfect. Core tight. Hips up. Squeezing the glutes all the way down. Nice and relaxed. One more. And back down. Relax. Perfect. Now, for a cardio exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to do sideways in and out. Okay. So, how this is going to work is if you have your ladder here, you're going to start with your front foot. It's going to go in the ladder, 
Back is going to go in, out, out. So both your feet are going to go in each square. Okay, so it's going to look a little bit something like this. Up in the arms here, I'm on the balls of my toes, my feet, come back around. We're doing the right foot, feet first. Again, always on the balls of our feet here, okay? So that's how you're going to do it. So we're going to do about six rounds of these each side, okay? We're going to go in three, two, one, go. Now go on your own pace here. No one's timing you. No one's making sure you go super fast. Try to stay limber, active here. Big thing that we're trying to focus on is this lateral movement today. Lateral movement, we don't do much in everyday life. We kind of forget about it. Most of our life we're spent walking forwards, right? Not too much of us are using these small muscles on the side here, okay? You'll hear these referred to a lot by some of my instructors, the glute medius, the glute minimus, okay? These are right underneath that glute maximus, and they assist us in abduction of the hips. Okay, so that's when our legs go on out, right? So we're working on those muscles. Again, same thing. We don't utilize these muscles. They get small, they get tight, and what they'll actually start doing, again, is pulling on the nearest structure, right? They're, they originate and insert right around that hip, okay, that humerus. Again, we have muscles that are pulling, taking our hips out, can lead to some back issues, some back pain, okay? Which you don't want. A couple more of these, good. Make sure you breathe in here. We're still on the balls of our feet. Still on the balls of our feet. Again, if you don't have a ladder, just imagine, imagine you've got a square. Good, perfect. Let me get this out of the way here real quick. We're gonna go straight into the push-up now. Okay, push up again, 45 degrees. Okay, don't wanna put your elbows up here where you're pushing off the floor almost parallel. Puts too much pressure on your shoulder. Doesn't really activate your chest that much. So bring it in, okay? We're gonna do 10 of these, okay? Nice and controlled. You can do alternate push ups if you, if that works for you, it's totally fine. But again, what we're doing, about shoulder width apart. We're gonna keep our core tight, bring our chest to the floor. Okay, 10 of these. Now the push-up for a lot of people is very hard, okay? Our upper body, again, we don't use like our lower body in everyday life. These are smaller muscle groups up here. So when we start working these out, right, we notice we fatigue a lot easier. And that's completely normal. Okay, our goal is to get this stronger so we can do daily activities much more efficiently and protect ourselves from injury. Two more. Good, 45 degree angle. Awesome. And relax, okay? Again, work in these small muscles. Just because our upper body is not our strongest muscle group doesn't mean we should avoid it. It's very important that we keep working it, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do in and out, but in and out variation. Frontal, okay? So this one's gonna take a little bit of coordination. Okay, again, we're working on that dynamic movement on the outside of the hips here. Move knee, then move minimus, okay? So what we're gonna do, ball the feet, you're gonna to touch the inside, skip over, out, next box. Notice how I'm always on the balls of my feet, right? Staying athletic here. Really working on that balance and transferring that force across our body. Okay? Do not need to go fast here. Get the movement pattern down. Feel comfortable with it. And then we'll, you can go a little bit faster. Okay? Almost like you're just switching on a dime here. Okay? Same thing. We're working laterally, right? We we're really starting to hit areas of body that we don't use on a regular basis. Another good benefit of doing this kind of dynamic, athletic, on our toes sort of workout is we're actually start working our body 
there's a proprioception. Okay, you can simplify that as meaning balance. And what we want to do is your muscles, they actually have kind of a brain. Okay, and we need to train our muscles to act autonomic. Okay, got the autopilot, right? So proprioception, right? Someone with good proprioception, let's say they are on a sidewalk. See, so crack that, so they step in it, right? They have good proprioception. What they're gonna do is they're gonna bail out of it. They're gonna be able to stabilize their body without getting injured. When we have bad proprioception, right? Our body can't react quickly, and that can lead to some injury, okay? Which is the last thing we want. Okay, three more times here. Good stuff, guys. Three more times. So what we're doing is we're training our muscles to memorize patterns and help us stabilize when life hits us, when things change, when the environment changes, we gotta prepare our body to change as well too. One more guys, one more. Good stuff. In and out, right? Moving patterns coming a little bit simpler now, right? We're on those toes, we're back and forth. Good. Relax, guys. Take a breath. Take a breath. Get a quick drink. I'll get one as well. The big thing we're working on today is stability, strength, power output, and that proprioception. Okay? We're getting your body used to moving in different planes of motion. Even though you're not doing that in everyday life, I guarantee situations do rise. We have to recruit the outside of our hips here. Yeah, good. Couple more seconds. We're gonna go straight into a plank, okay? Love the plank, wonderful exercise. Gonna hold that core tight, but it's also gonna work our full body as well too. So we're not just working our abs, okay? We're gonna be working those erector spine. We're gonna cross our spine here. We're gonna be working our lats our shoulders, our triceps, our biceps, our chest is gonna be contracted as well too. Our hamstrings, sorry, quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, okay? All of these are gonna be activated to keep our body in a straight line, okay? So that's what we wanna do, okay? We're gonna hold this plank, okay? I'd say for about 40 seconds to a minute, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get down on your elbows here. You're gonna go straight back. You're gonna hold this position tight. Okay. Good. Keeping a nice curve here. Keep our core contracted. We're tucking our tail in right between our legs and squeezing those glutes. All right. You notice how I have a little dome shape in my upper body right here. I'm putting myself into a slight crunch position. This is important to activate those core those ab muscles. If I try to get as flat as possible and start doing this, I deactivate the core. and start putting some pressure on the lower back, which is not what we want to do. We're keeping our core tight, going to the happy place. Good. Keep holding, guys. Keep holding. Make sure we're breathing here. Good. If you can't hold for this amount of time, Put a knee down, take a second, come right back up. Good. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Relax. Very good. I'm going to fix something up here real quick, guys. You want to take a second, catch your breath. Very good, okay, we're gonna go straight into those back and forth. We're going back and forth sideways, in and out. Again, front foot leads, okay, in and out. So if we lead with the left, the next time we come around, we're leading with that right. Leading with the right. Again, focusing on perfect movement here. Not being as fast as possible, being as strong as possible. Really contracting, feeling every 
muscle from your quad, hamstring, your glute, up to your core. Okay? Good. Pump the arms here. This will give you that balance that you need. And I know most people don't have a ladder. Keep imagining that box. About a foot in between each object. About a foot in between. Good, good. Perfect, guys. Good stuff. You're gonna really start to feel burn in those legs. Legs are working hard here. Legs are working very hard. In and out. Front foot goes in first. Perfect, guys. Doesn't look like I'm going extremely fast. I'm still working up the burn. Still working up the sweat. Keeping your body moving. Breathing. Focusing on contracting. These muscles staying light on the balls of those toes, balls of those feet. Good. All right, start getting to a point where you can go faster here. All right, that's what we want to get to. That's what we want to get to. Perfect. Good. We got a shoe untied. Gotta fix that real quick. If your shoe comes untied during a workout, it means you're working very hard. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Good. A couple more here. Good, good. Perfect. We're being quick. We're being athletic. Get our heart rate up. Good. Perfect. All right. Relax. Relax, guys. Okay. Now we're going to go into a split squat. Okay. Remember that split squat? We're keeping everything forward. Okay. So I'm front foot facing forward. Back foot, I'm going to be on my toe, still facing forward. Okay. Now can be turned out like this. Right or right here. Again, stacking that spine. Focus on keeping your core tight here. Okay. We're going to do 10 each leg. 10 each leg. Okay. Here we go. Nice and controlled. We're just hovering above the ground. Good. Just hovering. Barely touching the ground. Good. Five. Six. This is a great exercise for proprioception as well, too. Really working on keeping that knee in line, that front knee in line with that toe that entire time. Right? With these like the lateral type exercise, okay, we'll switch. You can start getting an idea if you do these often, which side is not as strong as the other. Okay, let's start this side. Right, so then you can start kind of diagnosing yourself, kind of feeling your body and saying, hey, my left leg feels a little bit shakier. Right? Well, that means we need to keep working on these nice lateral type movements. Get your legs more in sync. Keep working on that form. Good. Four more, guys. Good. Good. Perfect. Last one. My count might be off. That's okay. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. We're going through that in and out. Frontal here. Staying athletic on the balls of those feet again. Okay. In and out. Good. Start slow. Get your movement down. And really working on that lateral. Not much in the frontal with these, okay? There are hundreds of exercises that you can do with a ladder. I would uh, I recommend everyone who is watching this video, afterwards, if you liked doing these type of movement patterns, I'd research the different stuff online, different exercises you can do with a ladder. Most of them are very dynamic, really working all planes of motion of your body, working on staying athletic, bouncy, your shock absorbing, right? To make you agile, right? When we think cardio, 
we think running for a long time, right? We can do the same thing in short bursts and actually start training a different energy system to be more efficient. Right? So right now, I'm not relying too much on that conversion of fat to energy. I'm actually relying still mostly on that transfer like glucose to energy, right? It's a little quicker acting, right? As we progress longer, if we went to about an hour or so beyond that, then our body does transfer to that last energy system. And just because we're not burning fat as our main source of energy during this does not mean that we're not burning, right? These short burst exercises actually put us more into a, you're burning more after the exercise as well too. All right, so instead of that cutoff of energy expenditure happening at the end of the exercise, your body's trying to recover from this and it's still relying on energy actually throughout the day. Okay, we're gonna do this two more times, guys. Good stuff. Good. Make sure after these workouts, you guys are getting a good breakfast in, if you haven't already had one. Lots of good protein. You definitely want some carbs. Carbs aren't evil. They're good fats. Recommend some water. You're gonna need to replenish that after this. Good. Last one. Relax. Good job, guys. Get a quick drink of water. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Very good, guys. All right. So we're going to go back to those loop ridges. Again, hitting those glutes and those hamstrings. We'll give you guys a couple more seconds. Breathe. Breathe under control. Yeah, your heart rate should be up. If you got an Apple Watch, do your heart rate. Depending on your age, your heart rate will kind of fluctuate. But, um, you definitely want to get it above resting, right? Challenge, challenging that left ventricle to pump blood, make it more efficient. Okay, all right, same thing, guys. The glute bridge is here, driving through the heels, keeping that core tight, hips to the sky. Three, two, one, go. Good. You're contracting those glutes and those hamstrings. Feel that contraction all the way up, keeping your spine stacked. Don't let your hips go further than your spine will let it take it. Okay, straight line here. Good, you're breathing, driving through those heels. Make sure you're getting an even contraction on both sides. Again, if you really start listening to your body, you can start getting an idea of which side is stronger which side is a little bit weaker. We all have these differences in strength from side to side. Again, we are not perfect human beings, no matter how much we want to be. Our body is going to develop these different strengths and weaknesses based on our past experiences, injuries. Um, we might have found something that works ergonomically better with our type of anatomy, where our body adjusts differently. We might have one leg longer than the other, right? So these these are completely normal. What we want to try to do, we try, want to try to get each side about the same, as much as we can. Again, most of this is injury prevention and staying strong in our daily activities, right? So we can catch ourselves if we fall, right? Again, with good strength, good proprioception, right? If we were to take a fall, we are less likely to suffer a serious injury than if we did. Good guys, it should be burning. We'll do two more of these. Two more. Straight up, we're squeezing back down. Good, one last time. Perfect, and relax. Awesome, very good stuff guys. All right, we're going straight back in that lateral movement. Lateral movement, starting with that left leg. Again, in and, in and out, we're going sideways, okay? The balls of those feet. Start out slow. 
picture itself. Now you notice how I come back at the beginning of the ladder to do this movement? That is only so you guys can see this matter. Okay? You do not have to go back to the start. You can actually just start where you ended and come all the way back. Good stuff, guys. Again, we're breathing. We're focusing on keeping our core tight here. Keeping everything in line. Good. Perfect, guys. Good. Make sure we're breathing here. Make sure we're breathing. And if you don't have the ladder, no worries. Keep imagining. Keep imagining. Good stuff, guys. Now you pair these dynamic movement patterns, right, with strong, stable strength training exercises, right, you're going to develop your muscles a lot more than if you just did one or the other, right? It's important so we don't just work one side of the spectrum, not the other. We don't want to just do strength, right? We don't want to just do cardio. We want to do it all. We want to balance between each one, right? Kind of like the strength training. We don't want to work our upper body and not even touch our lower body. That would be no good. You've probably seen that around at different gyms. That creates an imbalance. You don't want that. You counterbalance the spine. You've got more weight from the top, less weight on the bottom. Again, it sets you up for more injury. Okay, good stuff, guys. We're gonna go through this two more times. Two more times. Good. I'm gonna tie my shoe real quick. I'm gonna get better lace for that. Double knot that. Good. Last one. Last one. Okay, we're breathing. We're breathing here. Perfect. Relax. Very good stuff, guys. Okay. We're going to go straight to that side plank. Straight to that side plank. Okay. You guys are doing awesome. We're going to do a side plank. We're going to do one last ladder and we'll be done. We'll be done. You guys are doing wonderful. That would have put us about 30 minutes. All right. Those die a little quicker. All right. Remember, we're on our forearm and straight with our body. We've got one foot on top of the other right here. We're going to lift, keep, lift our body. Keep those hips tall. Don't let them sag. Keep them up and just breathe. So when we think of our ab muscles, we think of only the ones that pop out here. Well, that's just one. That's just one portion of our abdominal muscles, right? There's way more. You got the, you got some running diagonal down, cross, right? Transverse. You got those obliques, right? We got a lot of smaller muscles. Good. Right underneath, the nice ones that pop. Okay, and relax. Good stuff. We're gonna go to the other side. So your abs. Actually, it's probably probably hear this all the time. Fitness professionals will say how important it is to work on your core. And of all the fitness cliches, work on your core is the most truthful. That's the one you should pay the most attention to because no matter what, it is so important to protect your spine. America suffers with too much back issues, right? A lot of it comes from underactive muscles pulling on our structures, our skeletal system, pulling things out of alignment. And then over time, you're doing these movement patterns with your spine pulled out of alignment. You can imagine that can cause some discomfort. Right, so always focus, always focus on working on your core and relax. Whether you are a power lifter, you're a runner, or whether you don't do any of it, you're gonna do anything. Work on the core. Last one, guys. Front, in and out. Good. Make sure we're breathing here. Perfect. Working on that dynamic movement. Very good stuff, guys. We're going to dynamic 
in and out, right? Good, perfect. Again, once you start getting better, challenge yourself, right? Try to get faster here. You can push yourself, right? Don't let my pace determine your pace. You are more than welcome to go faster or go slower. Make sure you're breathing here. Good. Keep going, guys. Perfect. Make sure we're breathing. Here we go. We're gonna do about three more of these. And then we're done. Perfect. Balls of the toes, balls of the feet, balls of the feet. Keeping our body light and agile, shock absorbing, right? Pushing off that outside leg. Two more, two more. Good. I know I said three, but we're gonna do one more. We'll take ourselves a little bit past that point. We're breathing. Good. Perfect. And relax. Good stuff, guys. Great stuff. Very good. Get this out of the way here. Perfect. All right, make sure that we're breathing. Again, arms above our head, opening up our chest cavity, opening up our lungs, let ourselves breathe here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. It's gonna be your best. Good, make sure you have that water. Like I talked about, make sure we're getting a good breakfast after this if you already haven't had breakfast. That's the beauty of these types of workout. Makes you hungry. And we know that food, that food that you eat after this is gonna go straight in to restoring the glucose that we lost and repairing those damaged muscle fibers. And damaging the muscle fibers is important. I know it doesn't sound appealing, but slow, small damage over time will create adaptions that will lead us to more strength and power output. All right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this type of workout. Um, if this is something you wanna see more of, you wanna see more exercises with the ladder, um, please feel free to share that. Um, message us on social media. Um, we'd love to get your uh, feedback. Other thing, I would definitely love to get your feedback on some different things as well too. Um, and please, if you really enjoy this exercise, please share this on social media as well too. Uh, we wanna make sure we're reaching as many people as possible. Um, we wanna get this help out there um, as to many, as much as we can, um, it's their mission. All right, guys, thank you so much for having me. You guys have a good rest of your day.